part I use my Z Gamma H7 for my uh, satellite viewing. Now, a lot of these, all these different satellite receivers have their quirks about them, their pros and cons, and I'll go into that when I'm going through the settings. I find with this Z Gamma box that uh, I, one thing I find with it is um, setting up is very tricky. You need to be very tech savvy on setting one of these up. So I'll go through some of my settings on how I have mine set up. Um, and uh, you could uh, maybe uh, comment below and see uh, uh, how you have yours set up or what you use. This box, it does have some very good features that I really like about it. I like that it can receive ultra high definition. And I like that it's a Linux based receiver. I have a hard drive in, in my uh, Z Gamma receiver, so it also works as a network drive. So I, the, the PVR hard drive inside of it, I can access with my computer and get files, put files on. Sometimes if I want to switch a, a file from a computer, I put it on that drive and I go on the network and, and get the file that way. It, it also does stuff like that, little neat features. But anyway, we'll go into how I have mine set up and uh, how I use it to tune my C-band dish set settings. Okay, I just wanted to go over uh, how I have my Z Gamma settings. So, I'll start with this video and I'll try to match it up with the footage of my uh, presentation. So, first I'm going to go to the remote. So when you look at your remote, it'll look like this on, on your system. You go to menu and yeah, I can even get a high resolution pull of it fresh automatically every, every um, two seconds. Fresh. There we go. All right. So. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go into your, just doing a few clicks here to the setup. Now I'm going to go through my video settings with you. So my basic video settings, I've gone through this before, but I just want to emphasize this. Now I've run into the problem where I um, had not supported and I quickly discovered that you want to have a HDMI cable that's capable of 1080p and the ultra high definition um, connections as well. I didn't have that before, so that's where I figured I didn't have that problem. I got it now. I got it running into my um, uh, V coax box, which uh, I'm using to uh, capture this. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that because I'm using my V coax. I can take the Z gamma uh, to uh, to ultra high definition. I'm just, uh, but for the purposes of this video, I am going to leave it uh, leave it on this setting here, 1080p. So there's that. I'm just going to exit out of that one, and so I'm going to go into my service. service searching. Now on the Z Gamma, I'm going to go under tuner configuration. Now on the Z Gamma, there's uh, two tuners. I don't use tuner B for the uh, DVB-S2 stuff. I use tuner A for all of my DVB-S2 satellite stuff. So this one is kind of dormant. I don't know. Uh, people maybe find they use it. Let me know in the comments. But for most of what I use, I have one cable running out through the, the DISEC switch, which I run all my ports, and then I can uh, um, also have my over-the-air tuner uh, r running with this. Here's where we get into some interesting things on the settings. Um, I have uh, my configuration. It's advanced, obviously. I want to have a good setup. So right now I'm looking at, I have my four-footer dish running uh, to uh, 87 West. So in doing that, what happens is I've programmed that to be LMB six. It's not necessarily, this is where I got confused for, for the first few times is you just set your LMBs to what you want them. And then you set your port with your dice command. So it's not your dice command is LMB. It's just, you're going to set, have a setting for 
every LMB. I, I believe my LMB one would be my main C band uh, connection, and then I uh, uh, have it running uh, to the other one. So this dish, I have a KU band LMB on it, and I uh, th these are the settings I have it have it on that I have it working. So I have it on auto. Um, now with the standard LMBs, I go user defined. So I have nine seven fifty, and uh, I just use or nine seven five zero. Yeah, and then I have that's ten seven fifty is where I have my low frequency. That's one of the key things. That's where, that's what I ha entered in there. And uh, so that's for a standard. If it's a universal, you might have. To, I'm not sure if you have to go uni uh, user defined or universal. But with some universals, you can go 10, 650 is the input frequency. But anyway, this is what works here. And another thing I'd like to say about um, this setup in the open ATV, open ATV uh, setup. Uh, which really annoys me about this particular setup is it doesn't have a signal indication. So say, for example, if you're messing around with your DISAC ports, uh, if you're in the wrong port, other receivers will tell you you're getting good signals and other will tell you you're getting bad signal. So just keep them going down here. So for my, I have uh, the threshold is at 10. Yeah. So my voltage bolt, Voltage mode is at this polarization. I just left it that there, the one of the defaults. Increased voltage, no. Tone mode on, I do have that on, but actually I don't believe I have to have the tone mode on on this setup. But it's on regardless. It doesn't really do anything unless you have an LME that's a, a 22K switch built into it. Uh, the tone will send that. And I think the reason why I had it on this setup is because I was using it for the PBS satellite. And then I moved uh, the port over. So I was messing around with the ports. So the dissect mode, uh, I have a 1.1 switch, but I think 1.0 works the same. I think that's just if you want to have more ports. Fast dissect, I just have it on no. Uh, Tone burst, I have that on none for this setup. And DISEC 1.1 command is port C, which on my, I'm not sure if it's numbered or lettered, but it'll be either, either be A, B, C, D for a four port, uh, for a four port uh, DISEC switch, or it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4. Sometimes some receivers just call it port 1, 2, 3, and this one calls it C. Uh, it just alphabeticalizes them. So here's a C band satellite. Now the way I have my C band set up is I just go with LMB1. So sometimes if I'm messing around with different LMBs, I can always go back to one because this will be my main motorized C band LMB and I can move it back and forth. So for this satellite here, 83 West, I don't even think there's anything on it. I like for example, I can go to 91. I tend to use a lot more. Yeah, okay. So Galaxy 19 C band. I'll just go over that one because it's on LMB1, which is where I primarily use my C band. Some of those other ones you just saw, uh, I don't really use C band. Uh, I'm messing around with things. So, but if you just want to have one C band LMB on your arc, this is how I have my C band LMB set up. So I have it for tone mode, and I just simply have it on port one or A for in this uh, this uh, situation. So these are all my settings for how I get my C-band uh, to come in. So thanks for watching. Uh, please give this video a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this is uh, the Z Gamma H7. That's how I have my settings set up. I'm glad I got the V coax device so I can do some video capture uh, and not just shoot the camera shooting the screen. So I'm very excited about that. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Happy Satellite Nerd on the Ottawa Octane YouTube channel. Like my videos over at Robbie Strikes Videos. Support me on Patreon. Join my group at Free Satellite North America uh, over the air. I, I, it's a long title. I don't know. I have, I have a group on Facebook uh, where we can all chat as well. Um, the only things I ask is one, that you're in North America because there's so many different groups on Facebook where they talk about channels that are not North America. 
So I have one specifically for North America. So if you want to join my group over on Facebook, uh, Free Satellite um, North American, that's got some other stuff in the title, um, uh, give a search for it and you'll, you'll find it. Um, and uh, you can discuss about it there or the forums if you want to stay anonymous. Whatever. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free-to-air satellite reception.